Oscar fish, one of the coolest freshwater fish that you could buy at any pet store, but also one of the most controversial. If you're thinking about purchasing a cute little baby Oscar fish at PetSmart, well, think again. In today's video, I'm gonna explain the good, the bad, the ugly, and also show you one of my pet Oscars, Beast, and how big he is now, and what we have to do because he outgrew his 40 gallon tank in a matter of five months. Okay, so I signed out of my YouTube account just to prove this. Let's type in Oscar fish on YouTube. The first video that comes up is don't buy an Oscar fish unless you watch this first. Now I know what you're thinking, catchy title, clickable thumbnail, there's no reason why this video shouldn't be top on the Oscar fish. But I guarantee you in one of his top 10 tips, it's gonna say something about tank size. And that's something that PetSmart does not tell you when you see them as cute little baby fish in that small tank, they get so massive. I know we're in mid-January, but just hold on a second. I promise I'm taking down my tree this week, but let's just enjoy it while we have it. So we're not going to get into this too much because I don't want to steal this guy's content, but if you guys want to watch this video, here's the title. You probably have already seen it. It's a pretty popular video, but he has a whole segment on tank requirements. And now look, I just typed in guppies on YouTube and it says 10 things you should know about guppies. Great beginner fish. It doesn't say watch this before you buy a guppy. I guess where I'm going with this video is that any pet store like PetSmart, Petco, not just them in particular, just any pet store in general should clarify when buying these fish that they're going to get extremely massive. I own three Oscars right now. I'm going to show you guys all of them in this video. And when I purchased Beast the Oscar at PetSmart, he was a small little wee little baby fish. They did not tell me anything. I know it's up to the person that's buying the fish to do their research prior to purchasing, but I believe that PetSmart should not be selling these fish, or at least they need to like put like a little label on the tank saying these fish get extremely massive. And this is what I mean by this. We're going to type in Oscar fish tank size, about 55 gallons. Tank size in captivity, Oscar can grow to about 10 inches in length. Thus, the minimum aquarium size recommended for one Oscar is about 55 gallons. Ideally, a 75 gallon tank is best for one adult Oscar. That is one adult Oscar, a 75 gallon. And also, let's be completely honest with ourselves. If you're shopping at PetSmart for a fish, you're most likely a beginner fish owner or you're going there to buy some feeder fish or some other stuff. But I guarantee you the majority of people shopping at PetSmart for fish are beginner fish owners and they just do not have a 55 or a 75 gallon. I guarantee you they probably have a 10 gallon to a 20 gallon tank. And another reason Oscar fish are so popular is their feeding. Like they literally can eat anything you put in their aquarium. They are so aggressive, so cool to feed. And that is another reason why they are one of the most popular freshwater fish, in my opinion. And a quick little side note to support my argument, why don't they sell arowanas or red tail catfish, alligator gars, arapaimas, and all of these other ones as well. Well, those I don't think that they would sell at any pet store. I could be wrong though, but for instance, Alligator Gar, why don't they sell those at PetSmart or even an Arapaima? Oh, I guess that's why they don't sell Arapaimas at PetSmart. Yeah, good good choice, PetSmart. So enough of me talking about it and showing you other people's experiences. Molly and I are going to show you our pet, Beast the Oscar, and us moving him to his new thousand gallon home. And a little under a year, they almost get the size of your hand. Now this is where it gets fun. Easy, buddy. Easy. Boom! Now oh, he's going from this to this. This is my 1,000 gallon pond where Beast the Oscar is gonna spend pretty much the rest of his days. And if you guys don't have the time, the patience, the money, or even the space because this is massive, then you really need to consider about getting this type of fish. Like I said, Beast is the size of my hand, but he's not even my biggest Oscar. That's my albino Oscar right there, and he's way bigger than Beast. I just redid this whole entire pond because there was a leak with the original tarp and there's still a leak. It's very stressful, very expensive, and very time consuming. And that's what you need to consider when buying a tiny little fish like an Oscar at like a PetSmart, a Petsco, or any type of pet store. You need to consider this when you're buying them that tiny because they get huge and you're gonna need something this big. We're gonna take a scoop of this water out and slowly start adding it into here so he gets acclimated to the water temperature and the water parameters as well. It's not only the temperature you have to worry about, it's also the water itself. Right, Molly? This is my little sidekick. You ready to go for a walk? 
And a quick side note, this kind of worked out perfect because I needed to move Beast the Oscar anyways. As you guys saw, he was in that 40 upstairs. It was way too small. He's outgrowing. It works out perfectly because I took my monster fish out of this pond. So what I'm going to do is actually put Beast in tonight. So he is in the pond first. And tomorrow I'm going to add my other fish in so they're not super territorial because he is the smallest out of the bunch. Okay, okay, we're going, Molly. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Now that Molly's taken care of, let's see how Beast is doing. So he's totally fine. Oscar's laid down when they're feeling a little stressed out. We're gonna add in a little bit more water right now because it's been about five minutes. And we're gonna continue this process for about 10 more minutes. I think he's ready to go in the pond. So I'm gonna dump all of this water in here just for it to be like a smooth transfer. But I wanna take him out for a second just to show you guys how massive he is. He's literally almost the size of both of my hands. And this is a little under a year of owning an Oscar. That was a successful transfer. He's gonna be hiding in the corner a little bit, but now he has this massive thousand gallon pond mansion right here. He just went from the 40 gallon upstairs all the way to this thousand gallon pond. Now, if you purchase a fish like this, you're not gonna have to go as extreme as this thousand gallon pond, but you are gonna have to get a massive tank upgrade. And this is why I do not recommend Oscars as a beginner pet. A pet smart, a pet co if you are not ready for it. This is what it takes. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys wanna see me transfer these monster fish, into this pond make sure you subscribe down below join the family and youtube thinks that this video right here is a good one for you to watch so go check it out i will see you in the next one peace so molly would love for you to like the video have a great day